How can you crown a king three times? Well, it's quite easy if you think about this three right here. So NAHC7 Chromax Black Swap, we have the NAHC8 Chromax White and the NAHC Chromax Black. We have two here and one is already on the cooler. So we're going to talk about the Noctua NH-U12A Chromax Black and of course going to introduce NF-A12-25PWM uh, uh, which is Chromax Black Swap. So this is something completely new. You might already seen PR articles and other publications on Instagram and other social media, but we're going to cover this and definitely going to test this one out. So let's go. First of all, the crowns for the NH-U12A are quite uh, interesting because you can uh, hide the passive uh, heatsink on the CPU tower cooler and basically change the design, make it more subtle, nice and still get a uh, cool design. And it doesn't affect the cooling without a doubt. So let's check it out. We have here three tops. Actually, one is already on the cooler and this one is Chromax Black, Chromax White and we have the Chromax Black Swap uh, in the build. But this is the thing, you have the NAHCF3, they are calling the magnet that actually holds the heatsink cover and you also have the NAHCC1 which is some sort of a pin that holds the magnet to the CPU tower cooler. You have to connect it here and use two fins of the uh, NHU12A so it holds firmly and all these holes are designed for the heat pipes that go to the top part of the heatsink. This way when you connect it like this it holds firmly and the other magnets pull the cover top on the CPU tower cooler. So this way you can definitely play around with color scheme if you're going with monochromatic design so you could go with white and chromax black or you could go completely anti-RGB with this one or just add a dash of uh, colors uh, to the chromax black swap. Now the Noctua NH-U12A we already covered the standard version so it was around two years ago but today we have the Chromax Black and it's not like we need to test it uh, thoroughly and to check out uh, everything. But without a doubt we have a quiet CPU tower cooler that does the job and you can definitely expect uh, some nice results. Uh, first of all let's start with uh, the build that I tested in. So AMD Ryzen 5 5600G. This CPU tower cooler is definitely an overkill for that processor because it keeps it cool in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition under full load. So this is a situation where you only use for rendering videos or photography or anything similar to that that is taking up uh, complete processor strength, power and load and uh, it was 56, 57 Celsius degrees. Of course, I do have to mention that these tests were run in uh, Fractal Torrent, which has two 180 uh, millimeter fans on front, which have uh, high CFM with low RPMs. And that definitely did help the CPU tower cooler uh, bring the temperatures down. But in any case, it's really quite interesting to see the temperatures in a nice uh, airflow chassis and uh, not in some closed front panel. So when we're talking about the uh, NHU12A we have something uh, interesting here and it's quite easy to mount it basically it, when you take out the accessory box and uh, check out the details what you get inside you might uh, think okay is it going to be that hard to mount the CPU tower cooler well the NHU12A on your CPU well I'll tell you this it definitely won't and you have an instruction manual which definitely helps you while doing the whole process so let's just do it just in case so you guys don't miss anything. First of all, you do need to remove uh, the retention module on top of the AMD socket. So those four screws need to be removed and the top part, but you do need to leave the backplate that comes with the motherboard. Then you use the NMAPS4, which are gray sta plastic uh, spacers, standoffs, whatever. And you do need to use the uh, mounting bars, which need to be pointing uh, outwards with the curved sides. Then you use uh, 
four long screws and tie everything to the original backplate that comes with the motherboard. Use a piece size amount of thermal paste and after that remove the fans from the heatsink of the CPU tower cooler and then you'll see basically that you have two screws that you can mount on those mounting bars. Now when you're tying up the heatsink I would recommend tying them evenly so two to three turns on each side evenly so uh, the heatsink doesn't tilt on one side or it doesn't pop up uh, pop out the other side so never ever tie one side fully and then decide to go with the next one because you'll either damage the threads or you will most likely damage something else so be very careful two three turns on one side two three turns on the other and do that evenly until the screwdriver can't twist anymore don't tie it too much because then again you can damage the threads after that when you're finished with the complete uh, place and placement of the heatsink you can now place back the fans and use uh, the Y splitter cable if you're not going with LNA if you're going with LNA which is low noise adapter you have to connect each low noise adapter to each uh, fan separately and then use the Y splitter now while using uh, LNA first of all I would suggest and Noctua also recommends that uh, you first uh, do some testing and benchmarks without the LNA because LNA lowers down the RPM starts lowering down the decibel noise and uh, this might affect the temperature so if you're pretty confident that you tested out the processor with Noctua NH U12A and it gives you nice temperatures but you still want to lower down the noise RPMs and everything uh, that way you can be confident that you can use LNA don't use LNA if you're not uh, certain about uh, temperatures and uh, because here's the thing if you lower down the RPMs the temperatures will definitely go up no matter what uh, occasion so as Noctua recommends first use the CPU tower cooler without the LNA when you see the temperatures and when you're quite confident that with the LNA it would do quite all right then use it and of course test it again just in case now let's check out the build and how it looks as you can see we have the NAHC7 Chromax Black Swap right here on the CPU tower cooler on the heatsink and you can change these panels that that are in white just by replacing them because you get everything here inside this box now this box contains uh, six different variations of colors for the front top to be changed basically acquiring uh, the color that you need for your build to get a decent color scheme that you desire so you can go with red blue black so complete black basically you can go with this one but okay uh, green white and yellow I think the only one that is missing is purple because you can see uh, purple white black build but then again you can go with white color which is quite neutral and could go with any kind of color scheme uh, as you can hear well basically you can't and I, as already explained in a couple of videos I don't have uh, decent equipment and a dedicated room for, with perfect uh, noise isolation to test out the decibel range of the fans but clearly I can say that uh, all Noctua products are quite nice uh, in the decibel range and you won't have any issues but we already know all of that so we can't complain about that or even consider complaining about that now this case has loads of airflow so that's why I didn't decide even to place a 120 or 140 at the back because the front 180 fans really do create nice airflow throughout the chassis through the heat sink giving nice boost for the uh, two uh, NFA 12 uh, 25 PWM fans on the NHU 12A and basically giving us uh, quite nice results in any other case that doesn't have such uh, accommodation of the fans you would most likely get some extra noise coming from the front fans because they need to spin faster to get that kind of CFM from the front panel to the uh, CPU tower cooler and of course the front panel here is quite open so that's that 
I would say quite nice combination if you're running with air cooling and if you're into air cooling you want nice quiet build which also to your preferences should look uh, nice and stealthy you can go with NHU12A, Chromax Black switch the front panels if you decide to cover up the heatsink and of course always use an uh, NFA1225 PWM Chromax Black Swap which you could change the dampening pads uh, to the color that you desire so for instance you go with the Chromax Black Swap NAHC7 and you can reorganize the color scheme as you desire as I'm checking out the uh, NFA12 uh, they actually here have seven colors they're all the same but uh, at the end you have gray so that's that a bit of a difference uh, comparing to the color scheme of uh, the NAHC7 Chromax Black Swap. Uh, as always, um, I do recommend Noctua products, uh, not because all of this, but just because they perform quite well and uh, everyone that I recommended Noctua products uh, did an extremely great job. So there's no discussing about it. This is something more like another review, even though I did give you some uh, terminals about the processors and the decibel range, as already stated, but more like an um, introduction to the new products from Noctua. There's that. So, um, all in all, I'm always satisfied with Noctua products. First of all, the fans are outstanding. Uh, you have six heat pipes going through the heatsink of the NHU-12A and directly to the uh, cold plate which gives an excellent cooling. All in all it's always a pleasure to give Noctua a PC Crazy badge so this time uh, I'm going to give approved badge and uh, performance badge for the NHU-12A Chromax Black and uh, let's put in also a creative badge because giving uh, loads of possibilities and varieties when it comes to Chromax Black Swap and uh, especially with the uh, NAHC8 uh, Chromax Black and Chromax White to give you some diversity when it comes to builds even though you're just trying to keep it minimal. So yeah, uh, thumbs up to Noctua again. I don't have to uh, say that uh, any more <laughs> you already know everything so guys check out the links below for the Noctua NHU12 uh, A Chromax Black and all the crowns for the king and of course the NFA12 25 PWM Chromax Black Swap thank you for watching today's video don't forget to support the channel by subscribing clicking the like button uh, notification bell as well and also check this video or this video and subscribe right here. So thank you guys, see you next time, bye bye.